Hey everyone, it's Stan, and today is an unboxing and testing of something I've had for a few months. A Remington Barbershop Clipper set. I had the clippers before, but they were like decades old. Oh, there's a little latch here. Open up. There we go. Ah. What do we got here? Well, we have our different sizes of cones, our paperwork. We have a brush, scissor, and oil. And our little uh, cape. itself. Ooh, this is so much more ergonomic and lighter than the other razor I had. Huh. Ah, static. Static. Ah. Turn off my very, very, very mild superpower. Come on. Okay. Comes off for easy cleaning. Not half bad. Hold this in. Guard comes off. All right. Huh. Leave that on there for now. Huh. What do we have here? I think the range was from an eighth of an inch up to one inch and uh, increments of an eighth of an inch. Let's check that, shall we? So let's go with the smaller ones first. Um, oh yeah, they have millimeters as well. I think I'll go with millimeters because Tell me again why people use Imperial, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so, we have the 3 mil and 6 mil, 9 and 12. Next one should be 16 and 18. And of course, the 22 and 25 millimeters. is much better than the brush in my other set. My other one was like just like that wide compared to this wide. And of course the oil. Instructions. Um, I think I'll read the English ones. Remington Virtually Indestructible Haircut Kit. HC5850. Okay, now we know the model. Do not clean blade or clipper handle with water or under the tap. After each use, brush the accumulated hair from the cutters. Do not submerge the clipper in water. It's recommended to oil the blades after every use. Place one to two drops of lubricating oil on the moving blade and turn on the clipper. The oil should distribute on its own. Wipe off any excess oils. Well, that's good to know. Some people may not be aware of that little uh, tidbit of information. Well, before I start first use, Maybe we should put a tiny bit of oil in this. Just one little drop should be more than enough. And these will be the moving blades. All right. All right, oiled it. Excess oil swiped off. Is 
This thing is quieter than the other covers I had as well. I will continue recording this video a few hours from now. I'm going to head off to work first. Alright, got the cape on. Let's see how this works. First, test this. See how the scissors actually cut. How good they cut. Oh, gotta watch out for my hands there. Actually, they uh, seem to cut pretty well. Huh. Just wanted to test the uh, sharpness of it. I think I'll try a number four attachment. This number four attachment, I mean, technically, you know, it's half an inch. I like to think of it as uh, 12 millimeters. Thank you very much. Let's test this out. Hmm. Not really hear much. Well, that attachment worked quite well. And uh, I remember to, after I uh, cleaned it, to put a drop of oil in there, put the guards, well, both guards back on. And one thing to note about this is that after you're done you may notice that well there's hairs that will accumulate but a lot of them will accumulate near the top around here I don't know if it's something to do with the magnet in, magnet based motor inside or I'm not sure what it is and it's kinda hard to uh, brush those off so you probably have to blow on this while you're uh, brushing that's what I had to do but anyway that's my only real nitpick, aside from not being more skilled, but, uh, yeah, that is that, that is that. Time to clean up my mess. Till next time.